Okay, in this video I just want to do a quick little discussion about Newton's method again and how it, you know, may not work. So again, that was the Newton's method formula. Um, hopefully you've seen the other examples on how to compute things. So uh, and again, this is kind of the basic geometric idea. So given the following equation and initial guess, we want to know why Newton's method would be bad. So suppose we want to find the zeros or the roots to uh, this equation x minus 2 quantity squared minus 1 and we start with the first guess of 2 and again you want to plug in a number that gives you something close to 0 well if we plug 2 into this um, if we plug 2 into this we'll get well 2 minus 2 we'll get 0 squared minus 1 we'll get negative 1 and in one of the other videos negative 1 was actually uh, you know kind of a uh, would have been our so we started with an initial guess and we got negative one out and again that's close to zero and we started using it and everything worked out great so um, what's the issue why would uh, x equals two be bad here so I'm just gonna graph this function real quick uh, remember x squared is a parabola um, x minus two on the inside actually shifts it two to the right okay so there's x equals two and then the minus one would move it down uh, one unit so that would be the vertex of our parabola, and it's going to cross the, uh, you know, it's going to cross the x-axis somewhere. I think we can almost, uh, maybe you can almost figure out the answers here. Um, but suppose again, you know, um, just talking about geometrically why it can go wrong. What Newton's method does is somehow when you start at your first guess what it does is it looks at a tangent line at that point and the tangent line you know hopefully you pick a point where the tangent line will eventually hit the x-axis because if that tangent line hits the x-axis actually that place where it hits so suppose instead of using 2 we used some other value maybe like 2.6 um, so 2.6 I'm gonna get a tangent line that looks something like that so if 2.6, if that was my first guess, this x-intercept, uh, Newton's method, that's what it actually does. It picks out the x-intercept. So whatever this x-intercept is, when we go through Newton's method and we do this iteration and compute our formula for a little x sub 2, x sub 2 is magically going to be that point. And then the idea is, well, maybe I could go up here and find that point on the graph, and I could find a new tangent line. And again, we're trying to get close to x-intercepts on the real graph. So notice by looking at this new value, I'm getting even closer to the true x-intercept. And that would be our third guess, etc., etc., etc. Well, the point is, if we take, uh, if we try to use 2 as our guess, if you think about the tangent line there, the tangent line there is just going to be horizontal. It's going to be a flat line. So the issue is, the tangent line in this case well it never ever actually hits the x-axis so you never would actually get yet a new um, a new a new guess okay um, and you can try you know going through the formula and plugging it into the derivative and kinda see what happens but geometrically this is the issue if we picked it at x equals 2 unfortunately our tangent line again never hits the x-axis and that means we never get our second iteration guess and our or I guess technically we would do one iteration to get x sub 2, but we never get our new guesses because the tangent line never hits the x-axis.